Hello and welcome to Rick Martin's tutorial on making a sword in Blender. First we'll start out with the standard screen and a cube in the middle. We want to rotate the cube 45 degrees so hit R and rotate 45 degrees. Now we want to edit this so we go into mesh mode by hitting tab Hit A to unselect all vertices. Hit B to bring up the box tool. Hit B a second time to bring up the circle select. Select the two opposite corner vertices. Now we want to shrink this. Now we also want to constrain the shrinkage to one axis. In this case the Y axis. We'll shrink it down nice and small. This will be the cross section for our sword. Now we'll rotate the view a bit. You can do that by hitting the number keys. Hit A to unselect. Now you can hit A again to select everything. Now we want to stretch, so that's the S key again. All right, now this time we want it along the Z axis. Good size sword there. Now to move your view, click the cursor over here till this red and white circle with the crosshair in it moves. Now hit C to center on that crosshair. Hit A to unselect all the vertices. B to select. We want to select the top four. Now we want to extrude, so we hit the E key. We bring it up. And we want to shrink these. Shrink it down right till the all the vertices are touching. Now we want to merge these, so we bring up the the menu. The regular menu is spacebar, and it brings up these basic things. But we want the additional menu, and that's the W key. And we want to merge at center. There we go, now we got a point. Now we want to move down again to the bottom of this word. We want to add a cube. Now that would be space to bring up the menu. Add cube. And we want to stretch it out. Along the x-axis. This will make our hilt. I will shrink the width of it so it matches up with our sword. I'm going to adjust it a little bit more. I'm hitting A to unselect the vertices, B to select. Now I want to move these so I hit the G key. That's G for grab. Move it up a bit. Now I'm going to make my handle. For that I'm going to use a cylinder. We'll leave it at default. Now it places it kind of funny direction but we'll first rotate. That's the R key. We'll move this with the G key. We'll stretch it out along the the Z axis. Shrink it down a little bit.
we'll adjust our hilt a little bit. And for another added little touch, we'll add a circle, or uh, a UV sphere, I mean. And that'll be the end of our sword. Shrink it a bit. Now we'll see what this looks like in render. Go f to the top view, select, leave the edit mode, the mesh mode by hitting tab, select the light, G for grab, we'll put it in front so it's lighting our sword. Then we'll grab our sword, we'll make it smaller so we can see it on the render. Hit F12 render, and there you go. You got yourself a sword.